The arts can change the world. Travel with me, artist John Dyer. Be inspired. Learn about plants, animals, and people. Connect to tribal culture. Create, paint, exhibit, connect. first night in the rainforest and we were woken up quite early by some <laughs> cockerels which was nice but also a bit disappointing um, and these are the hammocks that we slept in last night. We woke up quite cold which was quite surprising so I think we're going to wrap up a bit warmer tonight um, and we've just had breakfast with some of the Yawanawa people and we had some fried plantain banana which is like a savoury banana and we had just like normal bananas as well. And they offered us tea and coffee, but we declined because we didn't want to drink something that might upset our stomachs, which we think was probably quite sensible. So behind us, you can see our house that we've stayed in. It's like a, a little house where they put their guests. Martha, they just showed you the inside. And we're going to go and explore the rest of the village now with Nishiwaka. The first thing we have to do is go and introduce ourselves to the chief, which we won't video, but we'll tell you about it later. The Yamanawa village of Mutim has around 200 individuals living in it. But the Yamanawa tribe has eight villages uh, along the Rio Gregorio and they're expanding all the time. They now have around 1,200 individuals. After a couple of hours, Nishiwaka Yamanawa took us to see the chief. It was actually very informal. She was bathing one of her grandchildren and she agreed that we could continue with the Spirit of the Rainforest project. location and Ishiwaka has identified that might be good for me to paint with him. Um, so we just literally grab this canoe for a one minute journey over the river. This is called the Sama almond tree. Uh, the biggest tree in the Amazon, and uh, this is the is where the jaguars uh, they make their house to keep the um, uh, what I did for the memorial of Tata Tata Chanu Shaman, the biggest and powerful shaman ever. and we've got purple potato, which is a novelty to me. After lunch, we were taken to a very sacred part of the rainforest and we had to have our faces painted. And you've seen where the colour's coming from, Martha Lily, from the sea pod, the anatopod, straight off the tree. We're heading off into the rainforest again this afternoon to locate another painting location. So we'll have two painting locations set up and hopefully we'll see something amazing over there. Mm. 
So he's taking so, this plant for some medicine. It's a medicine. Uh, and that's for people who um, not suffer, but when they have like kind of uh, headaches. I, I can smell that from here. Really strong. No. That's your... no. Yeah. <laughs> smell it again, Martha. Like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is more. Oh wow. That's mm -hmm. almost burning. Yeah. The, <laughs> the back of my throat. Watch this next Uh incense. It's all incense. It's cool. it. yeah. That's very powerful. It's beautiful. And we, we, and that, we that's use bark this from, from, yes. the, from the tree. Yeah, we use this for ceremony to burn. Oh. To burn the so the vine behind me, this one here, is called Uni in the Yawanawa a language, um, uh, otherwise known as Ayahuasca, and tribes right across the Amazon basin use this plant in their ceremonies. Ah. So they, they have leaf bath. Yeah, How, yeah, leaf bath. So you put the leaves on them? Yeah, on them with water. Like, yeah. In uh, here? Yeah, in there. Inside. Can I look? Yeah, sure. Will there be an anaconda? <laughs> now it's a jaguar.